Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we have a little Bricks Coin um, mining review and tutorial. And also we will look at what my rigs did here in the past 24 hours. See you in a bit. All right, real quick before we go on, guys, I have something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. To be eligible to win, you have to be subscribed. You've got to hit that notification bell below so that when the Enter to Win video comes out, you'll be notified. All right, so let's do that real quick before we learn about Brickscoin. All right, so Brickscoin, this is part of my, um, I guess it would be a series of speculative mining that I've been doing here for the past couple of months, I guess now. So, I found this one out. Uh, here it is, Brickscoin. Um, introducing Brickscoin. Uh, zero ICO. Brickscoin is a self-funded project. Brickscoin masternode owners vote on the Bricks Special Projects Initiatives. Uh, Brickscoin masternode owners earn a, sh earn a share of the block rewards paid to miners. Brickscoin online wallet owners earn frequent rewards from their online balance. So it's kind of like staking, I guess. Uh, dev and marketing team dedicated to the success of the Bricoin or Bricksoin project. So what is Bricksoin project about? Bricksoin is all about um, building local communities. Bricksoin is all about enabling you to help your local communities. If you have ever tried finding a finding or securing funding for your own charitable work in your local community, then you will know this is almost an impossible task. Uh, the Bricks Coin Special Projects Initiative empowers you to do good. We are the future and the past. Join our chats on the Discord and meet fellow Bricks Coiners. So it's basically like a um, almost I don't know if I want to say GoFundMe type deal, but it looks like it's kind of similar to that. It helps you um, fund local projects in your community through the uh, blockchain. All right, so Bitcoin talk right here. Again, whenever I do these uh, speculative mining deals, um, all of these links will be in the description down below. So don't worry about trying to figure out um, where all this stuff is. Be right down below. So Bitcoin talk, um, just give you specifics on the coin. X11 has been around for a while. Um, there was no, I think I saw some here, there was no pre-mine on it, which was good as well. Because I know, um, some of these guys, when they pre-mine a lot, it's kind of scammy, I guess. At least if you listen to the technicals, which he uh, is pretty much right on that. So anyways, here's their Bitcoin talk. Um, you can download their wallet right here, which is what I did. I got a Windows machine. Um... We minimize that. Go to wallets. When you download that, it'll look like this: Bricksoin uh, QT, and I just named it Bricksoin Wallet right here. So all you would do is double-click on Bricksoin QT, and this is what the wallet will look like. You'll need to click File, Receiving Addresses, so we can actually start mining with this, and that's going to be your receiving address. Uh, just click copy and we'll need that for later. So the miner this uses is CC Miner, which is right here. You can download it right there. CC Miner 2.3 CUDA 9.7. Um, so we'll go into my miners folder. This is what it'll look like when you download it. You'll need the 7-zip program to unzip it. So I unzipped mine and called it Bricksoin-Miner, like I did the wallet. So you would go into here, and then you're going to create a run.bat file. So I'll show you what that looks like real quick. So here's the run.bat file. Only thing you're going to need to change is your wallet address right here, which is what we just copied. And P, you can call your machine Acer laptop, and in my case, or you can call it whatever you want, or you can just leave it blank. Uh, you don't have to call it anything. But again, this run.bat file you're seeing right now will be right below the video. So all you got to do is edit your wallet address right there. Um, there's only two pools that are mining it right now. Mine pool, and there was one more 
see if we can find it. I think if we go to Rick's Info, click on Mining Information. No, actually, it's going to be the mining pool, but I still think that might be down at the bottom right here. Wallet, wallet, no. So, official mining pool. I don't use this pool because there's only six, well, now there's only five miners on it. Whereas this one right here, mindpool.net, had about 40 miners on it, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Drop down to 26. Well, that's just using that version of CC miner. X11, yeah, 48 miners on the X11, which is the um, bricks coin that we're using. So, anyways, you can use this pool if you want. I don't use it. Um, I went on a pool with more miners. Hopefully, you get a little more luck as far as block rewards. But, anyways, so you would download the miner right here, CC miner, and we don't need that open anymore. So once you downloaded that miner, you created your run.bat file. And if you guys don't know how to create a run.bat file, you would just go, all it is is a notepad file. And you basically copy and paste that information in there I just showed you in that run.bat file. And you would just save it as run.bat. And it would create that bat file. So let me exit out this. And all you would do now is double click on it. It'll pull it up. And it's connected to the pool, and uh, it's mining away right now. So we'll give it a bit. So this is connected to that same mine pool I just showed you. X out of that. Let's go see if I can see if it already pulled up. Let me refresh. And let me see if I can scroll down. Tools, bricks coin. My wallet should be in there, so let me do this. Let me go to here, click copy. Go right up here, enter that address right in there, and it'll pull up that wallet. I just started mining this, so you, it's like nothing in there. So let's scroll down. Yes, there's the Acer laptop and the NVIDIA rig. So they are both showing up right now. And the hash is right there. That's mainly for my NVIDIA rig. Uh, so I'm going to let this mine for, I don't know, almost 24 hours. I'll see how it goes. If I, I'll look at it tomorrow morning. And if it's not profitable, I'll just stop it and I'll get back on um, Zellcast, which is what I was doing before. But that's as easy as it is, guys, to mine that. Um, let's get into my mining rig stats. So here we are, 105.6 Zellcash mine, $7.58. That's not even a full seven days. I'll finalize the numbers tonight at 10 o'clock. And um, that should probably be, I don't know, maybe $7.75. Well, no, it probably won't be because I'm not using it now. So it should stay at $7.58. Because that rig is mining um, bricks coin right now. All in all, 2210 for the week, 715 on Ethereum Classic, 547 on Bitcoin, and 65 cents on my CPU miner mining Stellite. 882.78 as far as total value mined so far. Um, I didn't see bricks coin on any exchanges, but on their site they said it's 6,000 Satoshis, which is about 38 cents from what I could gather um, so I don't know where they're getting that figure from but anyways I'll let that mine and I'll see what it looks like in the morning okay guys that's going to be it for today's video if you guys have any questions or comments please put them down below I'll get back to you uh, if you like the video hit that thumbs up I'd appreciate it as well and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification all right and with that I will see you in the next one bye